What's cracking, guys? Omar Isaf here, back with another video, back with one of these weekend bench talking videos. If you guys like this style of video, make sure to like the damn video. What am I talking about today? Well, I'm gonna talk about the headline generation we're currently in. You could call it either fake news, people have used that term, or the meme generation. Essentially, what it is is that people pay attention more these days to the headline than the actual content. Even more than that, because headlines grab our attention, that's all we really focus on. So what ends up happening is that people come up with more and more sensational headlines. The same thing, and I'll talk about this when it comes to YouTube, I'm gonna talk about fitness, I'm gonna talk about the whole damn thing. These bench videos, I talk about fitness, how it relates to things outside of life, the whole general perspective. But before I go on, I know it came in hot, I gotta give this bench a review. And see, this bench, it might not look pretty, it might not even feel sturdy, but you know what it has? Character, which is what's missing in a lot when we talk about integrity. I'm gonna give this bench else an eight out of 10. It's my favorite bench. I put my feet down, bro, it's high. I put my feet down and you know what I feel? Success. Anyways, meme headline generation, clickbait titles, how all these things are related. The first place that I really started thinking about this were in the magazines, right? The muscle magazines that you see, the fitness magazines, where the whole goal is to get you to buy because you'll hear something that sounds absurd. So I'll give you several examples. Lose 30 pounds in two weeks with this one weird trick. Blast belly fat by doing these crunches. There's, when it comes to fitness, because it is emotional for most people, right? There's something that spurred you to try and change your body. You didn't like the way you looked, the way you felt, everything so you wanted to change that so it's an emotional some would say impulsive choice ergo a lot of the headlines are extremely sensational and that's gone on far beyond now thanks to social media other aspects outside of fitness but fitness is probably the biggest culprit and here's why it's dangerous because people know let's say marketers that the headline captures people's attention they don't care about scientific integrity given the right information, because honestly, the right information, what sounds better to you? <laughs> Train hard, eat smart, be consistent, gradually over time develop a better physique, one headline, or two, blast 14 pounds of belly fat in three days with this one weird trick. What's gonna sell more? So it's all about what sells, what people can then pick up, buy. It's not about trying to give the truth. And then what happens, it becomes a different kind of truth. Maybe as Guns N' Roses said, use your illusion. It's not about the infin uh, information. It's not about facts. It's not about science. It's instead about emotions, feelings, trying to get people to do something, the end goal, buy. So fitness is all about that. It's impulsive. And why it's bad in the industry is that it's what captures people's attention. It's what gets the most amount of attention. And because it gets that, when people come into the industry, when they want to make it, what do they do? They copy it. So you get, we talk about on Instagram, is a booty good, a good booty? Absolutely. Is 1,000 photos of the exact same thing provide any meaning? Absolutely not. Same idea when it comes to titles. So clickbait, people talk about YouTube. And I get that. I try and avoid as much clickbait as possible. That's why I title a lot of videos, they're informed, like how to squat something, 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 because it relates to the actual content I'm talking about. I'm trying to be descriptive about things. But what will get more, let's say, views? One weird trick, one this, one that. And so it becomes a careful balance. I could say as a content creator that sometimes I do observe how a more lucrative title does a lot better. And so that's the problem is that I do see from being within the system how these sensational, this headline generation, how it works. Because we just pay attention to the superficial, the one layer deep. Why this is a problem is that eventually that misinformation, that bad information gets spread around a hell of a lot more than good information. What ends up happening is there's a dumbing down of the fitness IQ, of the general IQ, of any type of conversation that takes place online. And this is very dangerous. What I liked is that, and I'm the first to admit this, when I first started my YouTube channel, yeah, I tried my hardest, but uh, some of the content, some of the information, it was outdated. We could talk about nutrient timing. That's something that I thought was a lot more important back in the day, I was a proponent of. I've been wrong in many different respects. So it's not just the truth, nothing but the truth. It's also opening up uh, yourself up to the possibility that you could be wrong. And that's what I mean. When it comes to things like nutrient timing, I may have had the wrong answers, not 100%, let's say, accurate information, but over time, thanks to guys like 
I'm going to give the shout outs. Alan Aragon, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, Brett Contreras, Greg Knuckles, just a lot of people contributing, taking that time to really look at the research. What works for people? What is the evidence based information? Changed some of my information, reevaluated it, came back, tried to provide better content. And that's not happening as a whole when it comes to the fitness community, when it comes to social media. That's why, why do you think that whole meme that's going around right now, you know me, I love H3H3, Ethan, uh, Jake Paul where he said that line or someone said a line in the song, England is my city. I doubt the person that said that was trying to be ironic or funny or anything. I think, I think the person honestly just wrote, England is my city, rapped about it, didn't even fact check it. It's like, wait, wait, wait a second. It's a country, what's going on here? And you see that all across the board. Why do you think, what's shared on Facebook? You won't believe what happens in this video. And so instead of that good information being spread, what ends up happening is bad information travels faster. What can we do about this? So what can we do? What's maybe the catch all point when it comes to this video right here? We need to fight this. We need to be better. We need to try and provide as good information as possible, no matter what we do. So it could be the fitness information that you do. It could be when it comes to training, whatever you do, it could be who you're trying to impact outside of fitness. Uh, you know, for myself, we started that Gnosis Nutrition. I made a big update on Instagram, trying to do away with all that marketing, with all that bullshit, the hype, once again, saying, build 30 pounds of muscle, just what works in the right quantities for an affordable price. And that's my mantra for the people, to the people. And so we have a huge, uh, it's back in stock now, the pre-workout, I'll link that in the description. But anyways, what I wanna say is that it's up to us, you, me, so me the content creator, you the viewer to call bullshit out when we see it, try and provide, or let's say, spread that good information, really talk about the things that are important and be able to discern what's necessary, what's wrong, what is misinformation, what's leading people down the wrong path. Anyways, I just thought I'd make a quick video on this. I call it once again the headline generation, the meme generation, whatever we want to call it. I first identified it in fitness because I am in fitness and I think fitness is maybe guilty more than other industries, but now we're seeing it across the board on social media. It's time to stop. It's time to be better. Read a book, read a study, educate yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, I'm looking right at you. Like the damn video. Let's get it to 4,000 likes and I'll make another one of these. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.